Good morning. Welcome to the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary. We are located in Mays Landing, New Jersey. About an hour from Philadelphia. Uh, please let us know where you are. We would love to hear from you. So enjoy. Um, there's a lot of trees, so we have leaves, so you can't see everything, but it's, uh, it's a little bit different of a view. Tucker, I have Pinky here. As, as we get closer, I'm going to let her run around. She has been, this is an emu, which is, she is a bird next to an ostrich, and they are flightless birds. They are flightless birds and they can run. It's like a split when she so We rescued her because she was going to be euthanized. And she had to make, we had to make for her and called hobbling where we have kind of like her knees together. So they're separated enough, but can't do the split. And then the bottom of her legs are in a brace as well. Tucker, come here. What are you doing? The dogs are we usually I a little closer to Matt. Uh, a young lady named Kylie, her mom. Hey, you. And although I don't have human children, I have a lot of fair animals. Excuse you. Behave. Love Kylie. And she has a picture of one of the dogs and the barn and the sun and the farm here. So. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Uh, Mother's Day is a special day for mothers, whether they're still living or not. My mother, I think of her every day. I think about her every day. Uh, come here. Talk about my mom all the time. We have to make our mothers live on by talking about them and honoring them. I kind of give my mother's little advice to everybody you know if you're crying say the more the cry the less you pay <laughs> so i lost my mom 20 years ago and i still are you on am i on can everybody I'm on now yeah. okay so i still get um i got a little bit upset yesterday because of mother's day and you know no matter what our mothers are very special like i said whether they're with us or not and a lot of us have been separated from our mothers and children, um, grown children probably. But uh, I'm thinking of all of you today and thank you for all the wishes. I got so many wishes. My um, volunteers baked me a bunch of goodies because I have a sweet tooth beyond control. <laughs> so thank you, I think, um, to my volunteers, uh, Dawn and Kim. All right, she wants to get down. She you can see, run. she wants to go run. So this again is Pinky. I just told you about her. In the beginning, you're at the maze at the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary located in Maze Landing. Puppy, listen, you're gonna be good, right? I know that's your friend, but we're not playing too hard with her. And there she goes, Puppy! I said, All right, you're gonna be in timeout with mommy. <laughs> so you can see she still has her, she's looking for things to eat. Yep. So you can see she still has her one brace on her legs up top. But at the bottom, where it's kind of closer to her calves, where her calves would be, um, towards her ankles, I have her tied up as of last night. I call it tied up. It's hobbled um, with the brace on. And then I try and let her run around during the day. But you can see that one leg is still kind of turned out. Nope, you're sitting with mommy because you're bad. <laughs> you're bad. So that's Pinky, baby emu. She is four months old. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Matt. You all right there? I, I need Teresa. <laughs> Matt, Matt's out of practice. 
No, he was we off just... one week. Oh, and crap. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this this little Mother's Day, I mean, this little mount is going crazy today. I'm going to let you down. Behave. Tucker, I mean, Poppy, better. I'm watching you. That's a little better. So the problem is we have to make sure that all of the animals are good. You can see her one leg is just turning out a bit. So we have to keep putting the brace on so she can walk. When she gets older, she's going to be 100, 140 pounds. So we have to make sure that she's going to be able to support her own weight. Where are you going, Pink? She's very cute. She runs pretty fast. When she gets running, like I said, when they're older, they can run up to 40 miles an hour. There's no catching. Mommy is not catching her then. Hey, pretty girl, you want to come? Come on. Let's see. Let's see where we're going. So they're asking if it was a drone. It's not a Not drone. a drone. That's it's, the funny farm secret. It is a secret. We can't tell you. It's not a drone. <laughs> it's not, not good to tell secrets <laughs> on Mother's Day. Your mother would be like, you can't keep secrets. <laughs> and my mom would be like, you can't keep secrets. I know. Come on, Pinky! And that's why you don't like... Oh, and I have to show my fringe pants today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember, this is not just a funny farm show about animals. This is like a fashion so, show. So, and... check out my fringe pants. These are from the animals. The animals got so these for me. The fringes. My little fringe pants. Where else could you wear these but the funny farm? <laughs> <laughs> you can wear them I feel a little... I, yeah, anywhere. Sure, they'll look at me funny when I go into the FAA at work. Yeah, they won't. <laughs> They, they they have airplanes that have fringes on them. Uh huh. Now. Come here, Pink. Pinky looks. Pinky's taking off. Where are you going, girl? So I hope all of you are having a great Mother's Day. Some of you are. Come here. Where are you going? 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 Hi, Desi. I know some of you are going out to breakfast or out to lunch. Maybe you're tuning in to the Funny Farm later today. But we appreciate you guys watching. Look how big Again, Jesse let is. us know where you're from. And we are located in Mays Landing for those who are just tuning in. This is a baby emu. She has a splay leg which goes out when she walks. She is only four months old, so we've had to rescue her because she was going to be euthanized. And she has just started walking about two weeks ago. Um, hey, hey, hey. And she's, she's doing pretty well, if Matt would show her. Stop. <laughs> well, she ate, well, she ate a rock, then spit it out. That's plastic. I don't, whatever that is, you can't have that. I think that's a piece. Lynn says, good morning, Laura. Happy New Year. I mean, happy Mother's <laughs> happy Day. Happy New Year, Matt. <laughs> Joining from Ludlow, Massachusetts. That was Massachusetts. A, happy said, Mother's that was Day. That's such a great shot at the beginning. Very cool. That was different, right? Uh -huh. We went, we're trying to do things different. And it's sometimes hard when we have all these critters and where we're starting out, but there is 25 acres now at the Funny Farm. We started out, I had 15 when I purchased this place from my mom. And for those who don't know the story, it's kind of touching, especially for, for Mother's Day, but my mom rented a house for 28 years. She had four kids, we were very poor, and she worked in animal control and was always bringing home all the rescue animals that needed rescuing because they were gonna be euthanized, whether they had something wrong, abandoned, unwanted. Um, Dis disabled a lot of them were disabled so she would bring them home to the farm well I said mom when I get older I'm gonna buy your farm or your very own so in my 20s she was diagnosed with cancer and sadly she passed away two weeks before I made settlement on this property so it was bittersweet I love the farm but I was kind of like what am I doing I always joked and said I'm gonna I'm gonna I was gonna live in Philly and have cappuccino with my friends I'm an artist a graphic designer and photographer um, one of the schools I went to was Moore College of Art in Philadelphia. So I never really wanted to live in the city. I say that joking. Um, but I did live places where I had no animals. So I went home and visited quite often because I had to get my fur fixed. So, um, it, you know, life happens when you're busy making plans sometimes. And you should embrace everything. Even if it's some, I mean, it was really tough and there was a lot of really hard, bad times for me. But you have to just muddle through it and figure things out. You're gonna have some downs and that's why you, that's why you really appreciate your ups. So um, whatever life throws at you, you're gonna have to catch it because you don't have any other choice except for rolling over and dying. We're not doing that, right? We have way too many animals that count on us. So um, 
that is the story of the funny farm. I did not start this on purpose. It kind of just evolved. It happened. And uh, I couldn't be happier. I'm, you know, it was one of the best mistakes. It's not really a mistake, but it's just an accident that it even started. And we're so happy that it did. Vicky, you coming over to your mom? That's the, that's the mommy voice. Come here, baby. She's like, mommy, mommy, uh-uh, puppy. You can see the animals are very acclimated. She lives in my house, in the kitchen, in, on my kitchen table, because those who know me know I don't really cook. And hence my volunteers baking me things all the time. I don't even have an oven at the moment. Um, I use that for storage. So Pinky <laughs> is, is in my kitchen and she comes out and hangs out with all the dogs. This one loves her the most. This is puppy, don't you? But he sometimes loves her a little too much, so we always have to watch, don't we? Here comes Scooby, behind you. Here's Scooby. Scooby is the Brooklyn dog that came from Brooklyn, lived in a too small of a place, so they knew that he needed more area. <laughs> and Hi, uh, they decided they wanted him to come to the funny farm, so. So what do you have to say uh, about the people who have mothers that aren't with them anymore? Okay, I guess you didn't hear me saying that <laughs> earlier. No, I did too. But remember, I was under different conditions today. Okay, so Matt maybe couldn't hear me And today. I can't see the card, so I have to see the card again. Okay. Because we didn't see that. This is from a uh, young lady named Kylie that visits here. And I got a Mother's Day card. She was with her mom. And I said, how strange is that that your daughter brought me a Mother's Day card? And she said, I thought it was great. And she said, she already got all her stuff. So she said, you take good care of the funny farm animals. Love, Kylie. So she thought it was really important. She was, we were trying to keep her for the live, but they were going out to breakfast, which I'm a little hungry. <laughs> I wish I had gone. Don't you think they should delay their breakfast? So I they think they, well, they're, like I said, they're probably hungry like me. So. <laughs> um, and Matt's asking me to repeat myself. Um, you all know that I lost my mom 20 years ago. So it, it can be tough. And yesterday I had a little breakdown, just a little, um, even though 20 years later, because she, you know, mothers are such a huge part of our lives. Without them, we wouldn't be here, obviously. Um, but my whole life has re evolved around my mother being here. And then after she passed away, I had to just kind of pick up and move on, move forward. And uh, it's hard for some of us, you know. I, um, my volunteer, Kim, lost her mom, and she's having a tough time. And so we had that in common. We're like sisters now. Um, and it's, it's hard. And we do the best that we can do. I know a lot of people lost their loved ones this year. I don't want to make this sad. It's Mother's Day, so we should be nice and happy. But I say keep their memory alive. You talk about them. You share pictures. You, I, I quote my mom almost every day. I always have something. She always had something to say. If I was sad, she always made me feel better. I always complained about being too tall. And she would say, Lori, if we cut off your feet, you'd be a little shorter. And she thought that was funny. And I was crying in sixth grade when I was taller than every kid in my whole class. Joe Petruzzi said that we are, um, that our secret is out. That's not true. Nobody knows anything. <laughs> Joe Petruzzi. <laughs> He's my friend from high school. And he has been to the original Funny Farm in Turnersville. That's where the original Funny Farm started and um, he could probably tell you it was a hot mess <laughs> we had a little tiny shack and yep. makeshift everything um, Janine Richards Laura you started. never know what to you never know what to say and the impact it can make love you whatever life throws at you you have to catch it thanks for the wisdom today uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Deb Car me. Carpenter are you the only daughter am I the only daughter of my mother uh -huh. I have a sister and two brothers yes. so no Yes. I'm there. I'm not the only daughter now. Um, <laughs> my uh, sister lives in Haddon Heights. My brother lives in Deptford and my other brother lives right down the street with my four nieces and nephews. So there are little volunteers with well, two of them at least volunteer for the funny farm all the time, except they're actually out visiting their grandparents today. Susan McNulty, oh. Aunt, Aunt Sue, your mom was always smiling. I loved her. Oh, thank you, Aunt Sue. She loved you, too. Eileen Keenan, oh. I remember your mom's farm, too. Eileen Keenan is also another bando <laughs> from Washington Township, but I know she just sent us one of the blenders for Tucker yeah. and Jesse. So mm -hmm. we had a few people also. And Cindy. Cindy's prior, I mean, the prior parent of Tucker, Cindy, also bought us. So we actually have a couple blenders now. It's a good thing because sometimes we have two of them going because they're eating more than one. That's what I'm talking about is these, hey, listen, these two have mega esophagus, the noisy box right here, Tucker, 
And Jesse's the puppy. He's a black lab and blue tick hound mix. They both have mega esophagus and that's a condition where the dogs have to sit up in a high chair and they have to have their food mixed and they have to have it go down into their stomachs by gravity. So that's mega esophagus. That means their esophagus is too big for it to push down. It is not operable. So most of the vets say you should euthanize your pet. Um, they'll only live six months. Tucker is three and Kim Raina says she'll be here soon and she has a gift for you. Kim, uh, Kim She always Raina, says that, but you. it's really for Caesar. <laughs> it's always for Caesar. <laughs> oh, and look, we have our special guests for Mother's Day. Ah, 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 ah! Don't bite at the skunky skunk. I'm going to hand you this for a minute. We're going to do a, we're going to do a buddy. Thank you. We're going to do a, bu uh -oh. <laughs> excuse you. <gasps> Jesse. Jesse. He doesn't know the skunk that much yet. That might have hurt Jesse. his little tail. Jesse. Pulled out some hair. Yes. Okay, so where's Buddy? Let's go over to Buddy. Oh, okay. I'm holding the skunk. This is Stinky the skunk. He Wait, let's is. Get a good view here. You want to see him? Yeah. He is descented, and he's also fixed and has his shots. Unless you pull the middle finger. Unless you pull his finger. What, Matt? <laughs> Matt, you just sit there and you video. <laughs> Don't you're not allowed that. to speak. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. Hey, sorry. Um, and you can see he's a little orangish because he goes down under the ground. And, and his his white stripes turned kind of orange in color. Feet. He has little tiny feet, his nails need to be trimmed, and he does not like mommy trimming his nails, although we have to do that. That is the only time he's like nibbled at me, like, mommy, I don't like that. So thank you, Karen, for bringing Stinky out. He is, he is nocturnal, that means they, okay, let go of my shirt, girl, boyfriend, okay. All right, so let's go see Buddy. We need to do a Buddy update. So, ow, Tucker! I'm not playing. He's looking at me. Play, but Tucker ran me. into you. So here's Buddy. He's a little sad because he's inside of his fenced-in area. He wants to run and play, but we are under strict orders. He's the dog who had the femur break, right? And then he had a pin come back out a couple weeks later. So he's not really using his leg that much, but he is definitely not in pain like he was when that was coming out and pushing on his sci sciatic nerve. So we had to rush him to the University of Penn Hospital and um, they didn't have to reopen it back up. This was his old part and this is his new surgery spot. So hopefully the healing process won't be as long. And uh, he's an older dog, he is 10. So we're trying to keep him as stationary as we can. However, he wants to run around and be with all the other dogs, so it's really hard for him. He is in with a baby goose at the moment, and he's trying to just muddle through today <laughs> until he can be out running around a little bit. We give him a little bit of exercise, just not a ton. Somebody laid eggs in the doghouse back there. <laughs> Oh, someone did lay eggs in the doghouse. We have to grab them. And then you can see Pinky is visiting other uh, people. And we do have some kittens to show today. We will go in. And we have a new surprise. It's a new dog. So should we go back in and then come back out? Yeah. All right, easy. Well, if you do, let's bring in the Pinky. So I'll that, bring in Pinky. So the puppy doesn't. Ah, 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 puppy. <laughs> Hi, guys. Did you, you get to meet Pinky? This is the baby emu. Oh, Casey's gonna be jealous. <laughs> Did you want to see the baby emu too? Pinky, yes. Look, you can tell she follows us. Here we go. Hi, sweet love. Look at you. So she's a four-month-old, a little bit over four months now. You can't. That's uh, okay. Baby you can emu. We just show what's And her, normal. you know, her legs are. <laughs> yes have to be uh, hobbled, so sh we're trying to make that one leg better. It's kind of going out, but it's, co it's coming back in. Isn't she cute? Isn't she? Isn't she sweet? Hi, Pinky. Well, hi, have you guys been here before? No. First time, where are you yeah. from? We're, well. Near here? We're stationed here. We're military. But oh. an hour away in Marlton. Mc where is that? What is that? Marlton. I know Marlton, um, but is there is it like Space McGuire? Oh, McGuire. So Over I used to. I think I talked to you. In the, I used to work at McGuire Air Force Base. Really? Years ago. Yep. I worked in the visual information department, doing okay. graphics and photography and all that good stuff. You want more love? So thank you for your service. That 
Thank you for your service, young man. <laughs> and thank you for, for being with the service people. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go in and we'll go see some Rookie kittens. Makes friends. All right. Right? Yeah. We're going to go in some kittens. some kittens. Yeah. And we are going like to meet this. Sadie. Whoops. Hold on, girlfriend. She's like, I want to run. We're going to go meet Sadie. So Sadie is a, another German Shepherd. Her parents sadly lost their home during the coronavirus because they were renters. You're going to have to open the door for yeah, me. Yeah, we'll get in carefully. You go in first. There she is. All okay. right. You, you go first. All right, and you then you got to stay. I'm going to try and leave the other dog. Maybe Tucker can come in. Yeah, Tucker, Tucker, come in. She loves Tucker. We'll leave everybody else out if we can. Uh, she gets along with other dogs. She is up for adoption. However, she is has a little anxiety. She wants. So this is your kitchen table. This is my kitchen table. <laughs> and this is where she stays. Can you see her? Show yeah, her? Yeah, she likes it there. Ooh, look at and that. then she has a bed that kind of matches her. No, no one sees her at and night. she gets hay, but then she kicks it all out. So I'm not sure if she likes her hay or not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Sadie. Wait there. Let's see Sadie. Let's go see. Sadie, come here. There she is. Let's see her right there, Matt. Can you see okay. her? Okay. Hi, Sadie. Hi, Sadie. So she is a five-year-old German Shepherd. She has her shots and is spayed, is, so is fixed. Um, she came from one family. They've had her from the beginning. Um, she's a little skittish. She doesn't... Hi, pretty girl. So she's sweet, however, if she, she took off this morning. So she was out all day yesterday, not on a collar, I mean, not on a collar, not on a leash or anything. She just ran around the funny farm. Well, she figured out that if she goes way back behind the barn, she can go run away. So she actually took a walk this morning and we did have a hard time getting her back in. She's over here, man. Come here, Sadie. So we had a hard time getting her back this morning and she eventually jumped in my little car. She was afraid of the truck. So she is a sweetie, but she's going to take some time to get acclimated. So how old um, is she? Five. She's five years old. Um, you can't, like, if you're trying to stop her, you, if you grab her by the collar, she will nip you. She is not, she's been around children. She, I would say, probably not a children house. I would not put her in just because she's unpredictable if, if the kid were to grab her. So probably just adults only or very big kids. Um, and you can see she's a sweetheart. She had, she only ate one meal in since girl. yesterday. She's been a little bit nervous. Um, but today she ate a nice big meal. I put a little bit of extra special loving in there and she ate a whole bowl of food. Um, but it was really a difficult decision for these people to make because they were living with family because she was trying to rent another house and she was unable to find one that would have a fenced in area for her. And they loved the dog so much that they knew that it would be better for Sadie to give her up to a home, a forever home, than having her go from apartment to apartment to place to place. She's already lived in a, uh, a kennel for three weeks. She lived in a hotel with her family for a while. And, uh, you know, it's been a really, she just feels like her life was ripped out from under her. And, you know, she loves it here. As you all know, I have 10 dogs, so this would be 11. Um, she could stay here, but I think she would be better one-on-one. -on -one. We do require a fenced-in backyard because she will take off. I think eventually, like I said, she, we walked outside, I walk out with her, and she kind of stays right by me and, and knows me after a day and a half. But... Um, she, she's, come here, Tucker, Tucker. She's like, talk to me. He's like, talk about me. Um, but if you're interested, we are going to have, uh, if you want to send us a, an email at Lori, L-A-U-R-I-E at funnyfarmrescue.org. Again, it's Lori at funnyfarmrescue.org. It is on our website. So you can, um, send us an email and say that you're interested in Sadie, S-A-D-I-E. So, okay. um, somebody said something, but I forgot. <laughs> uh, Matt, Matt forgot what somebody said. Do you want to go see kittens? And then we'll come back to see. Wait, wait, wait. What, it what, says, what? Uh, let's go back here. Um, oh, uh, Debbie Carr, you better adopt Sadie out soon before you fall in love with her. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. 
I know. So she gets along with all 10 of my dogs and cats, even though my one cat went, Psh, and she was like, what is that? She did, wasn't mean to the cat or anything, so she can, she puts up with the cats. She's seen, she's, she's seen baby chickens. She ran into some baby ducks. I mean, some big gigantic ducks that were just flying. She's like, I wasn't chasing them. I just ran in that direction and they flew. So she, she has not tried to kill anything. She's been really, really good right now like that because she's getting used to me. And like I said, it's only been a day and a half. So I yeah. think she'll be fine, but it will take her a little bit of an adjustment period. Brenda Wallace sent you 500 stars. Oh, thank you so much. Somebody asked me about the stars and I'm not the It's the way that Facebook, okay, Facebook sends money to people. So, so if you like what you're watching and you want to send money, they say you can give send them stars. stars. But somebody asked me, does, does it be pay through PayPal, credit card? I, that part I don't know, it, I guess. They send us a check. They send us a check, but how do they pay? That's what people were asking. Oh, they pay on a credit card, yes. On a credit card uh -huh. or PayPal. Or they can pay on their regular um, way that they pay for, um, like, iTunes and stuff. You know how it comes out of your bank? Oh, okay. It can be like that. Okay. So, so, so like I said, somebody was asking me about those stars, and I really appreciate every little star helps. Um, we are all volunteer run here. We don't have any paid people, so... If somebody wants to volunteer, we volunteer, do volunteers on Tuesdays and Sundays while we're open. We're open 8 to 4 all year long, Tuesdays and Sundays, but even through the winter. And even on Mother's Day, we're here till 4. So a uh, big shout out to all my volunteers. All of them, I think, are mothers. Mm -hmm. And they're here helping me. And Except for the men. The volunteer women. You didn't say women. You just said all the volunteers are mothers. Well, maybe the dads are mothers, too. I'm not a mother. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> You're that a different kind nice. of mother. So not nice. <laughs> <laughs> you better show the kittens before you get in bigger trouble. This is a children's show. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, my house is very not clean today because it's been that kind of week. It's fine. So you're not allowed to show everything. <laughs> Can I show the Christmas tree? Because uh, the Christmas tree is All right, so let me funny. get the Christmas tree. So we got this from... <laughs> Look at this we Christmas We have Christmas tree. in May. So we have this Christmas tree that we got as a donation for that. And this Christmas tree is out now because my cats love it. <laughs> they absolutely do love they it. They sit in there all the time. So let me, let me climb in here. Hang on. This kitten, these are from all of you, um, from some donations. And then some people, hang on, my leg is not going over. Here we go. Can you see this? I can't unzip this all the way because it's got that little snag right there. Oh, I got past it what happened to the yorkie that was there on tuesday so that is the yorkie is at my girlfriend's house being one of my volunteers being fostered we still have a hold on that yeah. um dog it we found out it is an old dog it he Finn. has a vet appointment um i believe tomorrow so we should find out more Did about you say that buddy has to go to the vet on tuesday buddy is going to the vet on tuesday i did not say that He's okay. going to get his stitches removed on Tuesday at University of Penn. So can you come close so you can see them? Uh-huh. Nikki, are you trying to show Nikki? Yes, yeah, she's like... So I look at these the kitten cute kittens. Too. So this pen is the kitty play pen, and it's big enough to hold a litter box, all their food. We call it the kitty hotel. Kitty hotel, kitty play pen. And there's a lot of them. That's I, because people donated these, remember? The kitty play pens. Yeah. And also the kittens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of these kittens have no mom. Some of them, one, some of these were feral and they did have a mom, but they knew that there would just be more cats running around if they didn't catch them and socialize them. So we've been bottle feeding three of them. Someone and just bossed me around. Her name's Alexis Smith. She says, Matt, tell Lori that Rue was adopted yesterday and is doing great. Everyone loves her and she's playing and having fun. That's Christine McManus. <laughs> she said, tell her. So one of the kittens was adopted and she picked him up, her up yesterday. Her name is Rue. She was a muted calico. Do you know what a calico is? We don't have any other calicos here. Okay, just make yourself at home on my Sometimes back. Sometimes people are saying that it's the video's freezing up. If that happens, just go out and come back in. So this little kitty, <laughs> It's usually just the internet. Is the smallest kitty. He is still on a baby bottle. My friends Jen and Cameron found him on their walk, and he was crying, and they actually did see the mom, so they didn't know what to do. They tried to put him back. The mom swatted him out of her little nest, so I have this kitten because the mom rejected it. Um, he, his eyes were shut, 
but he's doing super well. What? He's, we have someone that wants to adopt him. Somebody they wants emailed to adopt us, him. Yeah. So if, if people want to adopt the kittens, these are up for adoption. I think only one might be spoken for. Um, but if you want to, you can email me or you can come to the farm to meet them and they're not they're almost ready nope. to go home uh oh puppy wait jesse and jesse out yeah. he's eating the cabbage stay out jesse stay out bad boy the only thing about these they can be collapsed so this is a pretty big one it's a little sturdier than most we have so to can you hold up each kitten so people can see okay him. here is a excuse you <laughs> here is a little tuxedo yeah cute okay i think it's a little girl Lori. I think this is a little, they're hard to tell. I think this is a little boy, a little stripey boy. He's a cutie. And then here's another stripey. This one was feral and Sharon, very how much are one. the kittens? It's, they are for adoption. So you would have to fill out a, a uh, adoption paper. We would have to approve you. Um, we want them to be a forever home. If something doesn't work out, they sure can come back, but we <laughs> want them to stay with someone. Hey, uh, get <laughs> Get down. That little cat like just wanted to climb on your arm. Um, Matt, you have to help with your other arm, please. I don't. Lord. Get down. <laughs> you guys, out. No, this is the cat house. No, Jesse. Jesse. Come here, Jess. Oh my lord. Oh. Bad boy. Uh oh, I'm standing on one. Uh oh. Come here, little one. Oh, that one we showed already. Is this? Okay. No, we have two stripies. Okay. So they look like similar, like twins, a little bit. There you go. They're cute. And then. The orange one, like I said, they, he may have a home, so I'm not 100% sure yet. We're still looking at the applications. And then we have two little black ones, too. Very, very cute. Uh. cute. But they were bottle fed, <laughs> so they're very, very friendly. Um, they are eating... Were you bottle fed? Wet food? No, I was not. <laughs> That's why I'm so close to my mom. <laughs> You said if they're bottle fed, they're really friendly. Yes, because people bottle fed them. They're not. They don't know oh, another mom. They know okay. people moms. Okay. I think I showed that one already. Will they go in the? Debbie Carr wants to know if they're going to go to the kitty cottage. Uh, probably not. Oh, your microphone fell off. Oh, Lori. it did. Yeah. Oh, just now. Debbie Denton said it. Fell Sorry. Off. Thank you, it's Debbie. Tiny. You have to put it up high. Well, you're the one who put it on. You well, messed it all up. I, you, I didn't knock it off. Hey, you. I think the okay. kitties are, are... Are you trying to get my microphone? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Rena Barnett, you are such an angel to take care of these homeless animals. So, yeah, in the morning before work, <laughs> we've been bottle feeding uh, kitties and having to feed 10 dogs. The cockatoo who's standing here looking at... Can you see it? See, uh... Miss Nikki, <laughs> she's been a little naughty lately. <laughs> she said hello. I like it when she says, Laurie. She does say my name sometimes. All right. Laurie. Is Nikki up for adoption? Oh, Nikki is not anymore. She's been up for adoption. She went to a home. She bit the people. She's kind of a biter, and that's why she's here. So I just don't think that it's going to work out. Um, like I said, she was up for adoption, but... You all saw, if you watched our <laughs> Christmas special, she bit me on live. Yeah. So you have to always that watch her. That was fun. Can we, we could probably show that. No, Matt. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to come out of the kitty cottage. I mean, out of the kitty playpen here. By the way, I did put Nemo in his, the bottom of the cage last night because it got so cold and he was going, Mom, let me in. Mary Fitzgerald, where is your application to adopt? They're not out there, so you have to write to us. We're doing a new website. I know we've been talking about it, but... We actually did it. We actually did it. Matt wrote um, what needed to be on there, so I the website people will mm -hmm. be working on it. And all of our forms will be, event will be out there eventually, but they're not, we're not there yet. Debbie Santos, how old do your kittens have to be to adopt one? Uh, eight weeks, so we are close. I think we are at seven. So one went... And then they have to come back to get fixed, right? They have to come back to get uh, spayed and neutered because they are not old enough. Uh, if you don't, we will come and take your cat back. So they have to be spayed and neutered. We do have a program where we have a spay and neuter clinic. We actually have one on the 14th, next Friday. So we have a few kittens that are, that are now old enough to get 
um, spayed and neutered, and they'll be back for that. And there's Nikki. To adopt a kitten, it's thirty dollar um, adoption fee if you are accepted through our adoption program. Okay. Hello. All right, let's go right, out. Kitty we hotel, people don't there's the kitty hotel and. Okay, we can go back out. All right, we'll go out, and you saw our Christmas tree already. Okay. All right. All right. So we can't let Sadie out because Sadie does decide that she wants to take a run now. No, 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 Sadie. All right, dogs. We're gonna try this. Go ahead. Okay. Come on, Caesar. Here comes Caesar pulling up the rear. All right. Let me get a banana. Should we do a kiss with Lorenzo? Yeah, a Lorenzo kiss. And someone asked about Adele. Aunt Sue, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I didn't have my glasses on. Hi, Jesse. Caesar. Caesar. Taking the. Uh, Oops, we don't want to show that. Uh huh. The <laughs> Matt. The secret. It doesn't matter. It's a secret. Let's Lori. go see Nemo. We have to find his pool noodles, though. And then we'll we'll go back and see Lorenzo. We'll let okay. those people visit with Happy him. Mother's Day from Bonnie. Bonnie, uh, happy Father's Day to <laughs> Mother's Day to you and all the fur babies that you rescued. Thank You're you, Bonnie. You're such a wonderful mother to these beautiful babies. Thank you so much. And happy Mother's Day to all of you. Whether you have ferried or feathered or human-legged kids. Where's Nemo? Nemo, we're going to see him right now. Here's Nemo, and you can see he's bucking her. <laughs> so we have to find his pool noodles. Yeah, I was gonna ask. I think, do you know where the pool noodles are, man? No. Okay, we have to find this pool noodles. There's we more have of them on the porch. The There's some on the porch. On the porch. You might have to cut new ones. And the, yeah. So the video, right Joe says, uh -huh. Joe Petruzzi, the video freezes from time to time. If you go out and go back or just let it catch up, it'll be fine. Okay. So, yeah, it's just because it's That's internet. our IT guy, Joe. Well, Joe is... Joe Petruzzi. I, he, Joe Petruzzi is our IT guy for... He's just an IT guy in general. He doesn't <laughs> work for the Funny Farm, but he will help us out when we need him. He's been your lifelong need friend. him. Yes, and we have like Larry, my friends Larry and Brian, our real IT people from the FAA, yeah. helped out and volunteered yesterday, and we now have Wi-Fi out at the store. Let's go show it. Okay, we can show it. Scooby-Doo is Hi, getting spoiled. Hi, good morning, good morning. <laughs> All right, Matt. Scooby, you're getting spoiled. And Farley. So this is our new Wi-Fi tower. Uh, uh oh, Jesse, Jesse. There's Debbie the Goose. He's being bad, Jesse. And her, and her boyfriend. Come here. Jesse's in big trouble. Yes. He's like, Mom, I'm ignoring you. Oh, he's, he's going to see those people. Doesn't he know it's Mother's Day and you're supposed to be good for your mom? All of you kids, if you're watching, be good for your moms today. Don't give them any trouble. Look so at Caesar. The... Caesar. <laughs> What do you have? It's a Mother's Day present. Look, he's like, nope, it's not. It's mine. Look. Rah, 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 Caesar, you brought your mom a present? That's a nice boy. He won't give it up. Watch. <laughs> For a little guy, he's... He, <laughs> he always wins. He always wins. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Uh-oh. He's got like a, what is the, a tumbleweed. What are these things? Whatever these things are, they stick all over my dogs it's all the time. Hi, Farley. Oh, and then Molly Jolly's in the store. We got to go see Cindy, her. Cindy um, Company, but she has a bum shoulder right now, so she's just looking pretty. She's not cutting up vegetables. Hi. Good, Good morning. morning. Where's Cindy? Did you hide her? No, Cindy's here. Cindy's? Yeah. <laughs> she's just invisible. She hi <laughs> she's Cindy, pick up, stand up. She's she's sleeping in the back. Happy Mother's Day, both of you. Thank you, thank you very much, Lori. She's There's working Cindy. Back there. She doesn't want to be on camera, but Happy Mother's Day, Cindy. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> she oh, she doesn't stop. She works, 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 works. Volunteers, 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 volunteers. And the kitty cats say. and all the shirts and the books. Yep. So we have um Chucky the Miracle Dog, Farley the Funny Farm, and Adele the Diva Chicken. These and are soon. And soon, if you ever get the Yogi book no, done, Matt. No, not, well, the Yogi book, too. But the Yogi book. The other book. We're hoping that comes out before. What's coming out on September 7th? Matt. What? I just was wondering. 
There's a, I have a, it's called Funny Farm, My Unexpected Life with 600 Animals. It's coming out September 7th. And, uh, it's oh, yeah, getting yeah, yeah. closer, closer, closer. There's just a book about my closer. life coming out in just a few days. Okay, man. So she just that. We're here to out, see but... some animals. <laughs> Yay, pool noodles from Kim. And you're going to put Kim that in the rescue. Oh, perfect. Thank you. So somebody needs pool noodles on their... Come here, little one. Look, he's like right here. Matt, look what you're getting. We're going to get our little decorations on our horns. We kind of screw them on. We put tape on them so they don't slide off as like, easily. Mom, not in front of my friends. He says, Mom, you're so embarrassing. I think he looks like, hey, Joe Petruzzi, doesn't he look like a, um, um, oh my gosh, what, what the heck was he <laughs> called? <laughs> the drum major. He looks like the drum major. That's what Joe was in high school. Doesn't he look like a, like a, I was or a drummer cadet? in high school. I didn't know a that. A drum major. He was in charge of the whole band. Not oh. a drummer. Okay. Matt, drum well, major. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Joe Petruzzi, tell Matt. Get him Do you straight. have any calendars from Debbie Allen? No calendars. I stink. <laughs> we did not do a calendar yeah, this year. Yeah, you're yelling at me about the Yogi book. I know. We, you know, I need to quit my job, and I would like to do calendars and note cards. And Hello. How are you? How are you? Is this Dookie girlfriend? Yeah. Al, I thought it was. So some of my extended family members are coming. Hi. Debbie, my cousin, was here, and her mom, and now cousin Dookie's girlfriend, Elle. And your her mom? Your, yeah, my mom's your mom? There's mom right there. <laughs> she's where she's sporting a Funny Farm Animal Sanctuary mask. Oh, that's we do cool. sell them in our store. They're very cool. Yeah, they are. they comfortable? Yes, very good. Good, good, good. Thanks, guys, for coming. Yeah, Appreciate it. it. So she's saying hello to du to Caesar for Duke because Dukey is in love Caesar. with Caesar. Loves, mm -hmm. loves, loves Caesar. Caesar's missing an eye now. He got an infection behind his eye, uh, but it doesn't seem to slow him down at all whatsoever. He's chewing the wire. How are you, Nemo? We Nemo, we put these on your horns, but what are we going to get for your mouth? What are you doing? <laughs> There's no crying at the funny farm, right? No crying, <laughs> right? Do you want to feed uh -oh, somebody? Oh, Farley's to the rescue. He come over to see who's crying. Oh, you have a boo boo? That didn't happen here, right? Okay, that's a good thing. So just help her maybe feed some of the big guys if you're gonna help. Always use a flat hand when you feed, right, Dad? Like this, and then if you can do this, if you're helping her, so they don't bite her fingers when they're little like that. And you can you can Aunt have Sue. her throw. Says, God bless you. You can Ellie. have her throw Happy Day um, to your mom. The, the lettuce, <laughs> and they or they can come up to her and eat the lettuce out of her hands. Okay. Have is this your first time? No. Oh, you've been here. So you guys are pros. So you should know all this, Dad. <laughs> we want to show the baby goats. The baby goats, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go over to Lorenzo. Okay. And that should about wrap it up. You want to go in? Yeah. All right. So here's Gig, our 70-some <clears throat> volunteer, raking up poop. So we have all different volunteers, whether they're young or old. How old are you now? 74, I'm 75 in September. 75. September and this is 7th? 13th. Oh, right, so after, this, the book right after the book is released. So oh, that's right. September 13th. So this is how Gig stays young. She... <laughs> She's a farm girl here. She's coming Tuesday. All right, hi. <laughs> so if it, this is this could be a tough job. Not all 75-year-olds could do this job or wants to do this job. Sometimes we have jobs you can sit at the gate and tell people, you know, where to park, where the store is, bathrooms, things like that. Um, you can groom animals. This is Stella. And there's the baby goat. So Matt's showing the baby goat, I think, right now, right? Yeah. That's Cupid. You guys named him. Um, he's like, Matt, you're getting too close to me. And where's mom? Oh, Mary Moo is the mom who's at the front seeing. Okay, we're not going to show Mary Moo yet. Hold on. <laughs> you're a little impatient today. Are these pygmy goats? They are pygmy goats. Dan Miller says hi to Gig. Who? Dan Miller. Says Dan hi Miller to gig. said hi. Hi, 
Dan Miller. <laughs> Dan Miller, okay. He works with Megan. Oh, okay. And then here is Mary Moo Moo. That is the baby's mom. Mm -hmm. She came, was going on her way to get slaughtered. She had a brother, or maybe not a brother, just another male goat that was there, and it had a problem with the leg. So they, the people called me, and she said they, the slaughter place wouldn't take him because he had an issue with his leg. Well, there's Mary Moo, and it had another brother and the one with the leg. They all came. I said, just bring all three of them here. Turned out she was pregnant and had a baby. Hence, we have Cupid, who's born... Not on Valentine's Day, but right shortly after, he has three hearts on him, one on his back, one on his butt upside down, and one on his leg. And there's baby Cupid there. Says, Matt, you're scaring me. See his upside down heart on his butt? <laughs> <laughs> and then you can see the one on his back as well. He did get big. These are three new goats that we adopted. One, two, and three. Uh, we don't specifically have names. I told Gig their names are... Phoebe, Rachel, and Monica. <laughs> she didn't like that because she said, I can't remember that. She doesn't know friends, I guess. Who doesn't know friends? <laughs> well, she probably knows uh, Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Stop, Matt. She's going <laughs> to kick your butt. So you can, you, I said, we can call them like Rach, Phoebes, Mon, for short, right? You don't have to say their whole big name. Look at, turn around and look at the peacock behind you, Matt. Can you see the peacock is showing off? A lot of the peacocks have been strutting their stuff. That's their way of showing how pretty they are to attract their mates. But they sometimes get confused. They do it to the horses. They do it to a duck. They practice. They're practicing. Mm -hmm. It's like going to a dance before the prom. <laughs> and this is Stella. She's one of my oldest goats. And she is one of the sweetest goats. She is also a, um, what is that? It, is that am I getting her good spot right there? Oh, yeah. I'm itching her spot. Look at her like She's like a dog. <laughs> she is a fainting goat. Um, she was rescued from you have North people Jersey. people watching from the UK. Yeah, UK. Thanks Lots for tuning in. Yeah. For those who are just tuning in, you're with the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary. I'm Lori Zaleski, the owner. I live here at the Funny Farm. Uh, we have over 600 rescued animals. Everybody is a rescue here. And we do our live videos on Sunday to kind of show you around. If you can't be here, if you're in the UK, um, we kind of show you a little bit of what's here. So you can still get a fun feeling about how they are. Is she yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> you, was she jumping up on you? No, with Stella. Are you trying to see? Are you trying to see a banana? I didn't even know a goat would eat a banana. I guess you like it a little bit. You want a little piece? Look at this. She's like, I like bananas. None of my other old goats. She's like, maybe she was hungry and she'll just eat a banana. Is that it? Okay. There's John with the water. All right. Thank you, John. Volunteer John has been doing this for quite a few years. He went to Critter Camp. He's he went to helping. Critter Camp, and now he's a Critter Camp. He's a big helper. Counselor now. Hello from San Diego. Out, 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 out. We're from, from San Diego. Diego? Isn't Yay. That, isn't that like um, on the other side of Ohio? <laughs> Stop, Matt. It's, I think it's like an hour difference, right? So I'm ignoring him. It's heavy three hours <laughs> difference. <laughs> It is three hours. So difference. they're getting up early. To and watch my us. friend Alan usually tunes in, and so does my other friend Brian Stans from high school. He was also in the band. Good morning from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, Linda Hope. And I wonder if my the Thompson home of friends are in engines. Florida watching too. So yeah, hi guys. We love them. Uh oh, he's uh -oh. helping himself. Yeah, but they oh said he'll finally stop. Yeah, he'll 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 fill up. Thank you, okay. appreciate it. So let's go see. Did we lock a dog in? I don't no, I think okay. Dean has them. So Cowboy was helping himself. Somebody brought some donations. Alexa Smith said the Cowboy ripped a banana out of her husband's hand one oh, day. Cowboy's the naughty, naughty <laughs> goat that had a broke, came here because he had a broken leg. We had to get his leg pinned. So his name's Cowboy. His, his leg is a little bowed out, his one left leg. Do you like, I heard you like bananas. He's like, ma, ah, I like the peels. Excuse me. <laughs> I guess they're right. Oh my goodness. We're going to give this to your friend, to your brother. You already ate enough, Piglet. No, you ate he enough. It. We sometimes, if uh, we had an Cowboy. outside wedding one day here, and he came and ate all the flowers off the aisle while the people were saying their vows. So 
<laughs> cowboy. That's cowboy. Why is his name cowboy, Laura? I just said his name is cowboy because, well, first of all, he looks like a cow. Second of all, he had a bow leg as a baby because of his leg being broken. <laughs> right, cowboy? Okay. He doesn't like me ever since he had to have those shots. Uh huh. Remember that? Sure, Matt. That's why they don't like you. <laughs> Stop it. Stop saying that. Look at our bun head. Our bun, our bun head duck. Your what kind? What kind of bun duck? head? I call him. He has another name. There's another. I don't know all my breeds of my ducks, but they have just come here. We got to see Buddy again because he's looking sad. Ah, uh, poor Buddy. We'll go visit Buddy again. I Where think is Lorenzo anyway? Oh, over he's there. over there. I think Buddy's a little. He's on his meds for pain, so I think he's also a little sleepy. Don't wake him up. You can see he's sleeping next to his bowl. He has rice and chicken inside of his regular and, food. And Kim, Don't wake Kim, him up. Don't wake him up. Kim made that for him, right? Show his little cut here. He's sound asleep. But we're keeping him in a fenced-in area. Don't drop that thing on him, man. So his There's stitches his, come out. His stitches come out on Tuesday. So we will be keeping a close eye on him. And they'll check and see why. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just said, Matt, don't that was drop a, anything on that him. Was a, I didn't just drop leave it on it. him. Come out of there. You're making me nervous. It was a scoop. It didn't hit I him. said, I know, but leave it to you to make something drop. Stop. Stop oh, saying Matt. that. You have to be nicer. Uh-oh. These are the naughty geese. <laughs> we have to probably put them away. Well, they're they have, doing okay right now. They're doing okay now, but if you are visiting thing. ever and the geese or anybody is kind of coming after your kids, come and get a staff member and we'll grab them and put them in their little timeout pen while you guys are visiting. So this is Lorenzo. I can't believe Tucker's not following me. So he will give you a kiss for a banana. And we showed him once before. He is a llama. And he is about 18 years old. You gonna give me kisses? Okay. He'll give you a kiss and he loves banana peels. Go away, not you, sweetie. You want another one? You gonna give me another kiss? <laughs> that was a big wet one. You do get. <laughs> Wet banana Terry kisses. Carr, stay away from the pool, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no French kisses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to give kid that one show, to you fam. because this kid, is a kid show. Kid family show. We have to stop that now. <laughs> give me a kiss first. <laughs> See my. <laughs> oh man. Does that taste like a banana? It actually does. <laughs> one more kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you done? Wait, well, I'm going to let you chew for a little bit more. Ready? That's a big kiss. You're only missing part of your chin, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, one more. All right, you can keep your mask on when you're kissing him <laughs> because you might want to. All right, we had our, I was talking about our IT people yesterday, um, Brian and... Larry and Brian said, what is that animal? He didn't know it was a llama. And I said, do you want to give him a kiss? And he's like, cool. So because he was chill. He said, that he's, animal is so chill. And he's such chill. a sweetheart. He is 18 years old, the, the llama, not Brian. <laughs> he is 18 years old and the parents moved out of their house and left him. They were still taking care of him and giving him hay and some food, but he had no family, no friends there. He was completely alone and somebody called about it. They just felt like he was sad and not getting proper care because you should be at home with your animals. They shouldn't just be left and be fed. They need loving and hugs and kisses and bananas, right? Mm -hmm. So um, the guy wound up deciding that the best thing... Oh, oh don't kiss that. <laughs> kiss Farley's butt. Are you smelling his butt? That's not nice. <laughs> Those aren't flowers uh -oh, coming out Tucker of there. just found me. Oh my goodness. What happened? Where did mom go? I know. You He's lost like, How me dare for you a leave second. Me. Look, now you made him get up. I knew that was going to happen, but at least we were able to kiss and yeah. and feed him before before Tucker came. So this is Lorenzo the llama. We have to monitor how many bananas he has. He can't have too many. So just let us know if you're going to want to feed him and then we'll just say we kind of keep track. Uh this is really important. Do not bring your own food to feed the animals. If you do, turn it right into the store. They'll give you stuff that's cut up to the proper size because last week we had some people and they had really big or a little too small and my old horse, Nikki, kind of choked on it. 
So I had to put my hand in there and try and pull it out and then had to put syringes of water to get that to come out. Horses can't throw up, so all this stuff was coming out his nose and it was a really, um, gave us a big scare. So if you have food, if you want to bring apples, lettuce, and carrots, turn it into the store and the volunteers, uh, Molly and Leslie and Cindy, will give it back to you in buckets, um, all cut up, ready to go. And then we'll recut yours up. So that is the best way to do it. So years ago, we used to let people bring whatever. They're not allowed to anymore. So if you have food, you have to turn it in. We have to monitor not only the sizes, but also how much. Because if these guys get too much, you know, they can get sick from an overabundance of apples or carrots or lettuce. So we have to keep track of what, what they're getting fed. Okay. Thank you so much for joining. It's 11. We need to see what time else. is it? It's 11.01. All right. Well, let's do a, another high shot. All right. We're going to do one more shot. So okay. See the whole so farm. for the people that missed the beginning, how we started, I'm, should I go up with you? If you want. Yeah. All right. Don't. We have two safety harnesses. Uh oh. But what about the dog? They'll be all right. What are they going to do? Jump? They're going to bark. So we can show our secret. It doesn't right. matter. So I have a woman lift here that was donated <laughs> by one of my friends, yeah. uh, Joe and Cora, years ago. And we had to have one of my other friends, Joe, fix it up. But now it's running. So we're going to get in. Matt, did you jump down up this far? This is a little bit high for you. Do it. I don't think you can climb up in here. Right. I don't think you can. I That's what I'm too. Tucker, you can't come in. Tucker. Uh, I guess Tucker's coming. All right. Tucker's like, what are you talking Just about, don't man? Don't fall out. He's not gonna fall out. Okay, close the safety door. Tucker's like, Farley's like, I would like to go, please. All right, let me. Here, let me I can operate it. Okay, put your foot on that. I know how to do it. <laughs> Cheapers, creepers. All right, now push that black button. Mm-hmm. No, Matt. Uh oh. Wait a second. What'd you do wrong? It's the black button. Ignition on. Uh oh, you broke it. <laughs> I'm make sure. Yeah, use the foot pedal first, then I, the black button. I did. You have to hold the foot. I pedal. am. I don't think you're doing it right. Oh my gosh, you broke it. You broke my yeah. woman left. <laughs> Already cheapers creepers. I'll be right back. He's gonna fix it. Okay, so you, just you stay guys, here. if you need to sign off, it's cool. We get it because Matt. They don't need to sign off. They want to see this. All right, you're gonna want to see this. Oops, I'm gonna have to put this down first. All right, Matt's trying. I gotta put this down first. You should first. just hand me that, Matt. Okay. Matt, hand it to me. All right. Oh my lord. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, thank goodness. Matt pulled out his wire. Yay, we don't have to hear Matt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta hold just the camera. Don't okay, hold the Matt. Don't hold the it, it works Look, good I for me. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay, so this is the farm. Here's Tucker. He's coming up in the woman lift once we get it. Do you want me to hold the paddle? No. Okay. Here's our front gate. You can see uh, Betsy is at our front gate. If you have any questions, she'll tell you where to park. When you drive in, there is parking on the funny farm. There's our wishing well. You park straight ahead. You can see some cars down there. And then you can see the big red barn in the back. There's also parking in front of that. So if there, if it fills up in the first spot, you go to the very end, make a left, and then you can park by the big red barn in the very back where the windmill is. The, the other, we call it the general store, is where you buy the food. That is the closer up red building. And next door is the outhouse next to the skunk. That was not by design that the outhouse got put there um but we have facilities to wash in your hands we have hand sanitizers everywhere and we are a farm so we always had woohoo we're going up yep we are we always had um hand sanitizers and different things to wash your hands way before covid came so you can see us you're not going up higher okay we're going higher and then you can see Yogi the cow. He's our bull, our red Angus steer. And then actually Yogi is the one up by the tractor. 
You can see like right there, Jogi. We have Stormy. We have our bad boys. They're supposed to be in the back. There are the rescued off the racetrack horses. And then here's T-Bone. He is a red Angus steer. Oh, we are a little high. Woo! <laughs> okay, I think we're good, Matt. I don't um, want to go any higher. I don't really want to go any higher, and I'm afraid when you stop, it's going to no, move. I'll stop slow. Stop now. Are you ready? Stop now. Yes, okay. we're good. Don't make it quick. Oh, jeepers, creepers! <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little afraid of heights, You're as you know. Stop. Pilot. Tucker's getting nervous, Matt. He really is. Stay, Tucker. Tucker oh my gosh, Matt, hold this. Bring Tucker up here. Hold this, hold because I'm here. a little nervous with Tucker being here now. I really am a little bit nervous. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tucker, stay here. Oh my god. All right. That's pretty fun up here, isn't it? It is fun, but we are a little bit high. So I, although Matt and I are pilots, I'm a little bit afraid of heights. Oh, come on. And um, I think I'm ready to go down. Ready to go? Yep. So go, okay. go easy. I'm going to just hold Tucker so he doesn't. Go just go slow. Go really slow. We can go twice as high, but I'm not going to go that high. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hold on. Oh, it's making a drittering <laughs> thing. All right, Tucker. <laughs> Woo! There's a tractor down there. Okay, Tucker's so this height good. doesn't scare me as much. It was when we were up all the way up and we were swaying a little bit. Well, that's because it was. <sighs> you're moving. Because we were moving, Matt, really? You're not supposed to. Move. <laughs> so now you can see where Buddy is. Can you show him? See yep. where Buddy is? Mm -hmm. Laying in the fencing area so nobody um, can hurt his leg. Make sure that. We don't have an animal or anybody jump on him Nancy or any. Said to take you back up. <laughs> Very funny, Sue. <laughs> and Sue, I was afraid of Ferris wheels when I was a kid. I thought I've overcome my fear of heights because of flying, but now that got me a little bit. Really? Well, I started. I also started to get nervous because Tucker. I was afraid well, he might jump. Probably was not supposed to be. Tucker's smart. Well, I read but... all the safety rules, and it doesn't say don't bring dogs. Oh, okay. You read all the safety rules. Okay. <laughs> Okay, how come, look, here comes uh, Jesse's like, how come I didn't get to go for a ride? He's behind you. You want to me show? says that you're afraid. It's funny that you're afraid. Hey! Look, he's like, I would like to go. Are you coming in? Look who just spilled in here. He's like, I want to go. You guys all want to come? You can't go. <laughs> so thank you. That was a little bit, that was a little bit fun. A little bit scary. You want to go up yourself so I can video you? No, that's okay. I think we've been on. All right, now we have. You can't go too high because of Jesse, though. He's in here. He likes it. Okay, just go up a little bit then. So now show the farm. So then everybody thought we were in a drone. This is our my woman lift. I call it. Um, it's like a, they call it a cherry picker woman lift. And you have lots of barns that need repair and lights and yep. all kinds of stuff and trees, so we always use this. We're always, we're fixing different roofs, um, putting up lights high on on the, uh, I just want to make sure he's He's fine. not going to get out. Stay. Go down. Okay. There's the front gate. Which I showed already when you were in the back, but you that's did? okay. Yeah. See, if you use the lever just a little bit, it goes slow. I know how to do it, Matt. Okay. He's always telling me how to do it. It's my machine. I know. <laughs> Farley, we're going to come down. Ready? So thank you guys all for watching. You can hear Ricky the Peacock in the background. He uh, is saying Happy Mother's Day. Woo! I like that. Woo! <laughs> God. Woo! Oh, that's fun. Do it again. Woo! Go up a little now. Woo! Puppies! This is fun! It's not a toy, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> we take our equipment very serious. That's yes, the funny part. <laughs> All right, I've been keep I've been keeping them way too long. <laughs> that that wasn't very nice. <laughs> All right, let's go down so everyone knows we're safe before they. Have to okay, so we don't get out, anybody yelling at us for playing around with our equipment. <laughs> um, hope you guys all you have are. a fabulous Mother's Day. Hugs and kisses to all the mothers out there, whether you have furry or feathered children or the two-legged breed. Um, I'm thinking of you all. And if you have nothing to do today or after breakfast, come on out to the Funny Farm. It's free to get in. The only thing you have to do is sign a waiver online at funnyfarmrescue.org. Left-hand side of the page, it'll say visit waiver form. You can hit submit. So 
If you want to come on out, if you are bringing food, turn it into our store and they'll give you something uh, in place of that. If you don't have food, that's okay. Come out. It's $3 a bucket. 100% of your money will go to take care of the critters at the Funny Farm. Lori said now she knows why it's called the Funny Farm. Why? Because of the it's fun to watch. Oh, <laughs> it's the funny farm because uh, some of our animals are um, disabled um, and some of them are really funny. <laughs> yep, like their mother. All right, any other last questions before we go? Mm, any more questions? Give me a look. Matt, That's where's your glasses? My, my oh, glasses. Matt. Aha, uh -huh. there is one. Oh, can you see it? Do you want me to get the Barbara magnifier? Rain, thank you again for sharing today with us. Have a great day. Barbara Rains, thank you. She just, Barbara Rains' family just sent us a really nice donation. Thank you to all who have been sending us. We have our wish list on Chewy and Amazon. And then people have been wonderful and supporting us and sending us some donation checks when they can. And we really appreciate all of you. And thank you to all my lovely gifts that I've been getting. I was talking about my earrings that my friend Crystal got me and my, uh, so I've been getting lovely gifts too. For Mother's Day, my friends Dawn and Kim and also my volunteers, they're like my extended family. They're all fattening me up even more. <laughs> Lynn, I love watching you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. And so, so, but I can have some of the, some of the Mother's Day. <laughs> I will definitely share my Mother's Day presents. Kim made me an entire tray. I won't be able to fit in any of my funny farm clothes if I eat the whole thing. So I'm going to have to share. So if anybody wants to come over, I got to chocolate marshmallow brownie a big tray of it and then dawn sent me some macaroons and cupcakes and it looks beautiful i don't know if i'm going to have enough of those to share though <laughs> so thank you all for watching and we will see you next week thank you matt for I watching you every i love watching you every sunday uh thanks guys you can see we are getting busier it is 11 12 there's so four I, cars waiting to get in. There's four cars waiting. Oh, yeah, we're really busy with four, four cars. We do have quite a few cars here. It won't, probably won't be as busy, so it's a nice day to come out. It's a little bit chilly, so wear your a jacket. I always tell everybody, don't wear your best shoes. It is a farm. Uh, we try and keep it pretty clean. Every car always wants to know our temperature. Our temperature is 57. A but little bit breezy. It's a but... little bit breezy, not too, not too bad. Um, but... If anybody wants to come out and volunteer, you can groom the dogs, the horses, the um, donkeys, the goats. There's a lot to do uh, at the Funny Farm. If you don't want to scoop poop, there's lots and lots of other jobs. Sometimes it's just picking up the dog toys. We had the Girl Scouts pick them up and they brought two big bins. There are toys everywhere. It looks like I have 100 kids, but I have 600 animals instead. But they're all from the dogs mostly. <laughs> Susan Tilden, I love watching you guys from across the pond in the UK. Yay, Susan! Where we were located? talking. Last question. There, where are we located? We are in Mays Landing, New Jersey. We are half an hour from Atlantic City and an hour from Philadelphia, to give you a reference. So if you're in New York, we have lots of people coming down from New York um, to visit. It's about a two and a half hour drive. Uh, Manhattan, we had Brooklyn. Last week, we had Staten Island. So people from Virginia uh, and Maryland that's usually where we have people drive from after that I think you should fly oh I like the bouncing bounce <laughs> Woo! feels like we're on a horse Woohoo! <laughs> yay really, puppies we're not really supposed to oh we're not really supposed to do that no, but only not. with the mis only with the controls Matt right <laughs> how many people so, would laugh if well, I pushed him back off <laughs> that would be not nice because you did that with me in the pool I did not yes you did Laura what Lori Andrews said she had cup, she loves cupcakes and she got some for herself. You, Lori, you got some for yourself? <laughs> that's awesome. That's what, that's what I always go, well, actually, I have, I have a little secret to tell you. I bought these pants for myself. I said they're from my animals. <laughs> they are from your But animals. I put it, you know, I put them in a bag and I said, to mom, love the animals, even though I really did get them. Because I thought they would be really nice for my life because I'm running out of things to wear that's that cool. are different. Tucker, cool. you like them, right? I think the kitties would like them. The kitties do like them. And then the goat was eating them already. <laughs> so, all right. We're all just right. babbling now. So, okay. 
Have a great Mother's Day, and we can't wait to see you next week. If you want to visit, we're open Tuesdays and Sundays from 8 to 4. You just sign a waiver online at funnyfarmrescue.org, left-hand side of the page. Be looking out for our new website pretty soon. We finally got the content done. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day. 